but a pre-poo is basically when you heat up oils and put it on your hair first before actually going in with the shampoo. I like to use Spectrum's Unrefined Coconut Oil. I got this right from Walmart. <laughs> so on dry hair, you can even mix. I usually mix it with olive oil as well, but I ran out. And that's probably why I didn't do my um, pre-poo today. Um, but yeah, so if you mix equal amounts of coconut oil and olive oil together, and you can heat it up. That's when you just go right in there with water and your shampoo. So that's a pre-poo. So I always can tell my hair needs to be washed and it always lands on a Sunday. So yeah, so sometimes you don't really need to pick a particular day, but you need to listen to your hair. If you know your hair is not acting right, if it's really dry, um, if it's really limp, and just too stretched out, then usually you know it's time to wash your hair. And when it's time to wash my hair, I feel like it's time to use a clarifying shampoo. So my favorite clarifying shampoo is from Carol's Darter. This has been a staple of mine forever. Even if you don't see me posting it a lot, this is what I always go to. It's called Lisa's Hair Elixir. That is after I'm done my shampoo on the first section then I go in with my conditioner my go-to conditioner if I didn't have to review products all the time is still Giovanni's and this has been a favorite of mine for a long time and I actually got this big container from Marshall's it is so so amazing you guys like oh my god this to me seems like a co-wash because when you use this it kind of has like a shampoo feel to it but it has an amazing slip it's so hydrating and moisturizing this is amazing finished washing my hair and right now I have conditioner in and I'm just gonna put this plastic cap right over top of it so this is my bonnet from Florbella Boutique here is my scalp massager I like to use this sometimes too it's battery operated and it really you can hear it vibrating <laughs> it feels so good it feels good on your body too <laughs> But yeah, you can get one of these. I have a coupon code for this as well. Um, I'll put it in the description box. But these are really good for scalp massages too, especially when you're washing your hair um, because you have that slip, you know. All right, so right now I'm just going to quickly just detangle my hair now that the conditioner has been sitting on my hair for a while. As you can see, I'm just using this Michael Mercier detangling brush. And I'm just um, making sure that the hair is nice and detangled, which it is, because like I said, through each step I was detangling anyway.
All right, so as you can see, I just finished detangling this section, and I'm still going to continue to tangle as I um, twist this back up. Curls are popping. Hair is smooth. But yeah, I'm just going to continue this process, and then I'm just going to go rinse out my hair, and I'll come back and let you see what it looks like. Rinse out. you guys understand right <laughs> all right so I just um, rinsed out my conditioner so I just rinsed it out in the shower and then I just retwisted each, each section after it was rinsed out so now we are going to go in with my next favorite product is my Eden Body Works a leave-in conditioner from their coconut shea line oh my fro I love this stuff so I'm just going to I just pour it on so the key to this again is to really focus on your ends of your hair but this stuff is amazing I like to focus it pretty much all over my hair but mostly on the ends All right, so the next product I'm going to use, I'm going to be using some coconut oil. I'm not even going to melt it. I'm just going to scoop it out and melt it on my hand. This is Spectrum's Organic Virgin Coconut Oil, and it's the refined version. And this hasn't changed. I've been using this one forever. So I just scooped some out. And then I'm putting it in my hand like so. And if you warm it up on your hand, so now it's liquefied. Again, focus on the ends too. I'm also going to go in with a moisturizer which I'm going to be using the avocado moisturizing hair milk from um, Maya Organics just going to put a little bit and we're not styling our hair yet we're just you know sealing in the moisture and a lot of people including myself um, get confused about how much product is too much product um, so that's another thing that I'm trying to figure out because sometimes like when you're putting a bunch of products you'll start seeing the product build up or the residue you see how it's like white but I've noticed that once it's dry it's okay I'm going to split this into two sections it'll dry faster and so when I go in to um, to oil my scalp it'll be separated enough so I can really get that oil in there a lot of people ask me about this brush too this brush is amazing I feel like it's not damaging because it really gives you an even amount of pressure and it also really sorts out all your curls to make it easy to detangle. It may sound loud, but it's not damaging. It's so easy on the hair. So I'm going to continue this process all over my head. Uh, 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 
So my hair is all twisted right now. Um, so what I'm doing now, is I'm going to attempt to find some bobby pins. I have a whole thing. Oh, I have a whole thing of bobby pins over there. And you guys are going to hate me because this is going to have to be a two-part video. And I know you guys hate when I do that, but I don't want it to be too long. Um, so, yeah. Twist around your roots so your roots are nice and tight. And then bobby pin. with some um, castor oil, your edges with some castor oil, or whatever oil you want to use. I will come back with our styling tutorial, but I hope you guys enjoyed my wash day. Um, the main key that I do want you guys to take away from this video is your wash day should definitely be separate from your styling day. And that is another reason why I'm not even going to do styling in this video because it should be two separate days. Your wash day is strictly about cleansing your hair and about adding that moisture, especially if you're low porosity like myself. Wash day is so important because that's when your hair follicles are open and you can get all that moisture in there and really seal it in. Um, so once my hair is dry then I start styling and again that's going to be tomorrow on a separate day or if I do want to style the same day then I would just sit under my bonnet dryer or whatever um so definitely start your wash day on the weekend especially for those who work Monday through Friday um start your wash day on your days off okay <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'll see you in my next video where we'll be doing a styling tutorial. Oh, and BTW, leave a comment below. What style do you want me to do? Because I'm like the queen of twist outs and you guys know I don't really do that many different styles. So just let me know what style you guys want me to do and I'll certainly take that into consideration. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't mind my girls back there being loud. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, guys. Oh.